Hey guys, uh, this is Ottocast. This device is designed to transform your wired uh, CarPlay interface into a wireless one. And today I'm just going to um, uh, update the firmware. I'm going to review this device in upcoming days. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I'm running the latest uh, firmware that's available. And the firmware was provided by the uh, distributor and the update file is on this USB drive. So what I need to do right now is connect the USB-C cable to the device and to the car. So let's do it. With the device connected, we need to wait until it boots up. There's, an, there's a red LED over here and there's some information that the device is booting up. And we should give it about a minute or so it's already looking for my phone because I've uh, paired my phone with it um, some few days uh, ago but right now my phone is off so it will not connect uh, to it and once it's all boot up and we are sure that there's nothing going on in the device there's no uh, uh, no um, no lag and so on we can connect the USB update uh, USB update drive and let's check what will happen if we do if we do so okay I'm doing this one-handed and once it's connected it should auto detect the the update okay so right now we need to wait about a minute or so those two LEDs should be flashing So we are waiting for the update to be performed and once the flashing is done we should have solid red light again and we should wait a few more seconds just to be sure that everything everything is done and only then we can disconnect the USB drive. So let's give it those uh, few few minutes and then I will disconnect the drive. This took only about a minute and right now I have solid red over here and I have update, update success information and the option to reboot it. But I think that I should remove the drive first and then reboot it because if I reboot it with the drive still plugged in, it will detect the update files on the drive again and perform the update again, which will make no sense for me. Okay, so let's remove the drive and let's reboot the device. As soon as I removed the drive, system was rebooted and it's back over here again. So I believe that the update procedure was successful and I can right now uh, connect my phone to it. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, keep an eye on an upcoming review of this device and I believe I will make it this week or just after the weekend. Uh, that's it for today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.